Hello, welcome to a special bonus edition of uh, Gas Walkthroughs. This is me talking through uh, the Gas Leak, one of the puzzles from December's Gas Leak. Sorry, no, November's Gas Leak. It comes out in December. It's weird how time works in more than one direction. Um, now, uh... I don't expect all these puzzles to get covered, um, I'm just doing this because several people asked about this one, and I had a few minutes spare today. So, this is Perfect Square Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. A digit between two cells indicates that the digit, uh, form, the two digit number formed by those two cells is a perfect square. So, um, this could be 16, this could be... 49, uh, but this could not be, oh, what's it? another one off the top of my head, 25, because there's no digit in between them, uh, there's no diamond in between those two. What's a perfect square, I hear you ask? Uh, I know no one at home is saying that, but that's fine. Uh, a perfect square is any number multiplied by itself, so, um, 4 squared is 16, so, uh, 5 squared, 25, etc, etc. Um, all diamonds are given, so we even have a negative condition in this puzzle. So, let's just start. Not, not that, like, I really need to keep track of the time, but let's talk about perfect squares. There are only six in this puzzle, and you're going to need to remember them. Now, uh, we have... In box three and box seven, a run of uh, five perfect squares, uh, four perfect squares in a row. Now, the question that you need to ask yourself is, what digit goes in the middle there? Um, and the answer is, it's got to run one, six, four. So, uh, one, six, four. You can take a second to convince yourself of that. Uh, Two and five only need, um, uh, two and five would need to repeat anywhere within any other perfect square to be available, uh, which reduces this down to five perfect squares we could be using. Um, and then if you put a three, three must go at the start of the chain. And then it'd have to, uh, because no other perfect square ends in three. So it would have to be 36, 64, 49, and then there's no perfect square starting with nine. So this is the only way that this chain can go. Um, then you've got 81 and 49, and we'll go down here, eight, one, six, four, nine. Uh, now, <sighs> there's a cute little bit of logic here. Um, you can just do this box because uh, where do I put a five? Uh, can't be there because that would be 25 and this would be 25. So five must go there, three and seven. Um, I wanted to show that off because it's cute. Uh, it would resolve itself in a second anyway. Uh, but, you know, I'm proud of this one. This is a good pause. I like this pause. All right, let's have a look at this one because this one, uh, there is only one possible thing it can be. Can't be 16 because got one and six in the row in the column. Can't be 25 because two sees the first digit there. Can't be 36 because I can't put a six there. Uh, so 49, it can be. It can't be 64 and it can't be 81. So four, nine there. Uh, this can only be 25. Uh, cause it sees one and six can't be, uh, can't have a four in it. Uh, and it can't have an eight in it either. So it must be 25. Similarly down here, uh, can't be, this can't have a six, a four, uh, in it. It can't, uh, blah, blah, blah. actually, no, I'm going to this one. This one can't have six or four in it, uh, which rules out several of our perfect squares. Rules out the 16, 64, 49. Uh, it cannot have a 36. It can be a 25. And that is actually what it is. Because it can't be 81. Because I can't put an 8 on that diamond. Down here, we have... Uh, it can't be 6, 4, or 9. Once again. Um, so, 
That leaves it down to 25, 36, well, not 36, because it's season 6, or 81. I just put a 25 in, so this has to be 81. Let's do some Sudoku now. 3 here. Uh, 9 here. Oh, what's that? I got some red digits over here. It's almost like I did that by design. Um, down here, we have uh, 5 and 7. 5 goes here, 7 goes there. Uh, thanks to our old friend Sudoku. Uh, 3 and 7 makes an 8. Uh, this has to be 7, because this must be 3. Um, and then, over here, this is a naked single. Uh, 168, meaning this must be 7. And this is my favorite bit of logic in the whole puzzle. Um, this is 168. I need you to understand dear viewer at home i spent so long so long making this trick work uh, this this was about six hours of my day trying to make this box happen now what digit is row three column three and the answer is it must be eight why must it be eight bill well if i put a one here I can't put an 8 there, and I can't put an 8 there, because both of those would make a perfect square. So this can't be, this can't be 1. What if it's 6? Well, I can't put a 1 there, because that makes 16, and I can't put a 1 there, because that makes 16. So this must be 8, and this is 16. I am so proud of that, and I hope you appreciate how wild I, how much I genuinely love that one. Alright. Uh, let's see what else I got going on. One, six, eight. This can't be one, and this can't be eight. So that is a pair. Put that eight in there. Uh, one, two, four, and six. Two, one. Um, let's do a quick scan. Ah, yes. Three, negative constraint, meaning this can't read as 36. So this is one. This is two, meaning this has to be four and six. But negative constraint again. Um, I I mean I know that I know I know. Uh, one can't put uh, put a six here, so this is four. This is six. Uh, let's do some more Sudoku. This is one. This is nine. Uh, I can put a two five in here because there's two five in this row, so this is three and seven. Uh, just double checking. I'm not missing any negative constraint. I know I set this puzzle, but it was a what? It was over uh, three months ago. It was so long. Uh, once again, negative constraint will resolve this because this is a six nine pair. Can't have a sixteen, so this is nine. This is six. Uh, Forty nine. Oh boy. Hmm. I wonder. Negative constraint time. Nine and four. Uh, that's actually a negative constraint on two levels, because if I put a 4 there, it creates 2. 6, 4, 4, 9. Now, this is 1, 2, 7. Uh, that just cleans itself up almost instantly. Uh, no, it's not 1, 2, 7. Silly goose. It's 2, 6, 7. Uh, 6, 7, and 2. Uh, this, again, negative constraint. Uh, this can't be 6, because that would make 64. So this is 2, 7, and 6. 1, 4, 7 over here. This can't be 1, this can't be 4. Uh, this is 6, 8, 9. Oh, look. 6 there. Uh, still no negative constraint in that one. I am checking every single time. Uh, 2, 3, 5. Ooh, we're going to have to be very careful when we come back to this one because uh, we will need to make sure that we're not creating 25. Uh, 147 here. Hey, that just result. Uh, no, not 147. This is 157. This can't be 1, but also 81. This can't be 1. This must be our 1. And that's going to do a lot of damage to the rest of this puzzle. Uh, 3, 7, 5, 2, 5. Seven, three, two, five. Uh, we can almost just do this whole thing. Uh, this is four, nine, six, eight, nine, and eight. That is perfect square Sudoku in about eight minutes fifteen.
uh, with me talking through everything. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, it, uh, hey, tell you what, uh, this is what it looks like when I'm a little mean. If you enjoy me being a little mean, why not come and visit us on Patreon? Um, you can find the Clover at Sudoku Clover. You can find Philip at uh, Sudoku Theory. And you can find me at WWM Sudoku. Love to see you. Cheers. Bye.